Hey guys, welcome to Retro Crisis. In this video, I'll show you how you can further improve the graphics of your PlayStation 2 games by using texture packs. So the first thing to do is open up your PC SX2 folder and create a folder called Textures. In this folder is where you can install your texture packs. And the texture pack folder should be labeled with the region code of the game. So this here is the US version of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And then when you open the texture pack, you'll see a folder called Replacements. And then within there, you'll see a whole bunch of these kind of uh, image files. So let's go back. Now these texture packs can be found online. All you need to do is go to Google or whichever website you want to go to and type in PCSX2 texture packs and then find something related to the game you're interested in. But anyway, once you've copied your texture pack into this folder, go and open up PCSX2. Now once you've got PCSX2 open, you'll notice here in the code column, just make sure the code of the texture pack matches the code of the game. We're almost there, just a few more settings to tweak. Just go to settings, go to graphics, and then once you're in the graphics menu, go to texture replacement, and then click on load textures, and then click on pre-cache textures. And then here at the bottom where it says search directory, make sure you go to browse and then navigate to the new folder that you just made a short moment ago. So in my case, it's the new textures folder we just made within the PCSX2 directory. And then whilst you're here, why not upgrade the internal resolution of your game by going to rendering, internal resolution, and then select whichever setting matches your display. In my case, I'll be choosing 4K HD. And another tip that I've been told about recently, go to dithering and change this to force 32 bit and then go to close. Now right click on the game that you're interested in upgrading the textures, go to properties, go to graphics, texture replacement, click on load textures, click on pre-cache textures, and then go to close. And now load up your game and here's a side-by-side -side comparison of what you can expect. On the left we have the game with the stock textures and on the right, we have the game with the upgraded textures. I hope you found this video useful. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.